The next object that we need to create to get our models talking to our database is the book table gateway. And I'm going to put that in the same area as the book. And I'm going to simply call that booktable.php. This will also contain the same namespace as our book.php. So if you remember, the book.php is our row attribute. And the book table object is kind of our data access object implementation, or the DAO pattern. And so this class is going to be a little more complex in the sense that we have to add methods in here that are going to handle all of the different aspects of our CRUD screen. But first, let's go ahead and create our basic class. So to comply with the table gateway, we need to actually pass that in. So I'm going to create a protected attribute on our book table that holds the table gateway. And then I'm going to create a constructor that initializes that. Since I am using the table gateway object, I need to create a use statement or an import statement for this. The next thing that's going to happen is we need to create four access methods or functions that are going to access the database for our CRUD operations. So we'll simply start with the fetch all and work our way down. So I've just pasted in the fetch all and it's not very complex, but let's talk about this quickly and see what it's doing. So the first thing that it's doing is it's making a proxy call to the table gateway that we've been initialized with. And you can see that the table gateway has some pre-built methods on there. And so in this case, it's just is issuing a select and grabbing all of the records out of the book table. It's storing that in the result set and returning that back to the caller. We also need the ability to look up a book based off of its primary key or ID. So this function get book will do that for us. And again, you'll notice that we're relying on the table gateway to perform most of this work for us. So in this case, it's saying, hey, I want to get my book by ID. And we pass in some attributes here to that select, which is saying, give me all books that match this ID. We then grab the first one back and we return that. If for some reason that we can't find the book by an ID, we're just going to go ahead and throw an exception. Now, based off of your needs for an application, you may just return null or you may want to throw an exception depending on how you want to deal with data not found. I always find it's a good idea to throw an exception just because you really do have an exception here. You were looking for, say, book four. It doesn't exist. Therefore, we can't find it, and that's a problem. This next function is how we save books with the table gateway. First thing you'll notice is we're passing in a book. And that book is the book.php object that we just created. And the first thing we do inside of this function is we take that array and we store it and give it some information, such as the title and the author. So the next step in this method does one of two things. If this book is brand new, meaning that the ID equals zero, we're going to go ahead and use the table gateway to insert that. Otherwise, this book has already been inserted into the database because our ID is greater than zero. So in that case, we're going to go ahead and perform an update on the database using our data and our book ID. And again, if for some reason we can't get the book, we're going to throw an exception saying, Hey, we're trying to update this book, but it just does not exist. And our last function in our gateway is going to be how we delete books. And this, again, is a fairly simple method where we're making a proxy call into the table gateway and asking it to delete our book with the given ID. You'll notice as we look over our book table, we've added a lot of code here. And there's a lot going on, and you can see this is just for a simple CRUD operation on one table. 
it's really easy to get a lot of code placed in your data access objects. So you need to take care and make sure that if your class is getting too big, you may want to add alternative data access objects. There's kind of no rule of thumb here since these objects can kind of follow any pattern. You may have a data access object that does selects. You may have another one that does writes, such as inserts and updates. And you may have a third one that just does deletes, all on the same book object or data object.